program. Um, I actually have two sisters, both of whom were a part of the whole beforehand, and they're the, actually the ones who convinced me to join. Um, I, and actually, this ceremony two years ago was when I really realized that this is the school that I want to be a part of. Um, and I had actually just applied and was like ready to embrace it just because of all the passion and the speeches. And it's a really beautiful community, and I just wanted to be a part of it. And now I am. But today I wanted to talk about some of my greatest lessons that I've learned at Global. Um, the first one is to step outside of your comfort zone. Um, that's something that I've been doing from day one since I joined um, to this exact moment right here. Um, everything about being in the school is uncomfortable. Um, <laughs> yeah, so from the beginning to the end and everything in the middle, um, jumping from country to country, starting your life over, over and over again every couple of months, meeting new people, being, like trying to fit into different cultures. Um, it's all very overwhelming and very scary. Um, to my own experiences of being in Namibia um, and sleeping with a baboon with a poopy diaper and his arm <laughs> across my throat, like choking me while I'm trying to sleep. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, every, everything is uncomfortable and you just have to deal with it and learn from it because those are usually the best moments. Um, except for this speech right now. <laughs> okay, so, which leads me to my next point of just being flexible um, and being able to adapt to new situations and having a sense of humor. Um, I think people who travel, and especially people in global, probably have the best sense of humor just because you have to. Um, last year when we were in India, we got to the train station, we were waiting for our 24-hour train ride um, to a different part of the country. It came 12 hours late, um, and we just hung out, we laughed about it, we were like, of, of course this is happening, um, and we just dealt with it, and it's like great to be around people who don't get stressed out in a situation like that, and can just take a nap on the train platform while you know, people are spitting beside us, and we're just like, alright. <laughs> so, yeah, that's... Yeah, embracing and learning from those moments. Um, and then that leads me to my next lesson, which is to learn from everyone and everything. Um, that's basically the whole point of the school, the experiential learning. Um, you learn from people and places and classmates. Um, I even learned from the animals that I spent so much time with. Um, everything has a lesson and... Um, and yeah, I mean, it was really nice, and even some of the academic stuff, I had to like relearn outside of the classroom because I might not have understood, and my classmates were happy to help me and put it into layman's terms for me. Um, so I really appreciate their help with that. Um, which also then ties into the next lesson, which is accept help. Um, I can sometimes be a little private, I seem mysterious, um, <laughs> I, just, I don't really like to ask for help a lot. I feel like I can figure it out on my own. Um, especially this semester, I realize that is not the case. And um, and I really just wanted to thank the teachers and the staff for kind of staying on me. Kathleen sent me, I don't even know how many emails. Like, where are you? <laughs> what are you doing? I really needed that. It whipped me into shape, and I finally got my thesis in, which was <laughs> took a lot of time. Um, and I couldn't have done it without the support and the help that I got from all of, all of the staff. And then one of the biggest lessons that I learned in my time at Global was that I know nothing. Everything I thought I knew, I realized it was wrong or only part of the truth. Um, but it also means that I shouldn't believe in something and take a stand. Um, it just means that I should keep my, my views and my perspective open um, and always be growing and evolving and learning again from everybody and everything. Um, it was, that lesson was 
both enlightening and disheartening. Um, but it's a reminder to always be listening and learning. Um, so just kind of finish off, finish it off. Um, Global has changed my life, and it's inspired me to be a better person. Um, I didn't even know how much I was missing. I had no idea um, until I joined all of these wonderful and brilliant people on this journey. Um, they intimidate me. They're just the most amazing people that I've ever met in my group last year as well. Um, most of them couldn't be here today. Um, but with that imitation comes motivation and inspiration to try to be even half as passionate, intelligent, and creative as all of the people that are in this room right now. Um, <laughs> my nipple story is usually crap. <laughs>